the famed American novelist Zane Grey once wrote that if I fished only to capture fish, my fishing trips would have ended long ago. As a fisherman, I'm motivated by so much more than the pursuit of a fish. Every time I head out on the ocean, it is a step into the unknown, into a place where untold adventures are possible, and sometimes, on those special days, I get to experience the magic that is contained in those waters. And if I'm lucky, I might even get to catch a fish in the process. During springtime on the Haraki Gulf, nature's symphony comes to life in spectacular fashion. Baitfish fill the waters and bring with them pods of dolphins and whales behind. Flocks of dive-bombing gannets circle above, waiting with eager anticipation to unleash their attack. The action can be nothing short of breathtaking, and the schools of hungry fish feeding below can make the angling almost unbelievable. It is these experiences that make fishing so special to me, so that's where we're heading, on a springtime adventure on the Haraki Gulf to witness the magic. This is Martin Madness! It's right up there with the biggest kingies I've ever caught. I am stoked. This is a special place, so these are special fish. <laughs> we got a sword! We did it, boys! Yeah! Good morning from the Hauraki Gulf. We've got up bright and early and launched at Gulf Harbour and we are in one of my favourite places to fish at that time of year and that's springtime in the Hauraki Gulf. It's at this time of year, the place fills up with bait, you've got the whole cacophony of dolphins, whales, gannets and of course what we're looking for, hungry snapper feeding underneath. So I've teamed up with me old mate Scott Malkin from Darwin, New Zealand. And our plan today is to chase gannets, drop some metal jigs and lures down under the gannets, and all things going to plan, get stuck into some hard fighting Haraki Golf Spring Snapper. I'm looking forward to this one. Shoo! You see anything up there? There's certainly birds there. Oh mate, there's heaps of birds there. We just need them to start. There's something holding them there. I would go there. Yeah, it looks like I would go there and have a look. Chasing workups can be enough to drive a sane man insane. But when you find them, it's worth it. But looking at our Garmin sonar, there's plenty of bait fish and what appear to be snapper on the bottom. So I like our chances of filling our Yeti with some delicious snappers. There's some high gannets out to your right there as well. Are they going into the right there as well? Here we go. Dolphins, gannets. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's what we're looking for. Yes, boy, there we go. That team, <laughs> that is the Hauraki Gulf in the springtime. If you're out here chasing workups in the Gulf, resist the urge to charge into the middle of the workup. Oh, here they go, boy. This is what we wanted, Scotty. It is. Nice to get it nice and early. Look at that. Look at that, mate. Woo! Look at them. Go right, them. they're going in, boy. <laughs> I won't do that all day, so we definitely want to. Um, <laughs> get those shots while we can. We deserve to find a worker. We did. We got up very early. Yep, straight on. Nice, Scotty. Yeah, I'm on too, mate. Ooh. 
This here is what makes springtime in the Haraki Golf so special. It's like being in your own private National Geographic show. Not wrong. And it always blows me away that right on the doorstep of New Zealand's biggest city, with a population into the millions, <laughs> look at it, you can experience that. New Zealand's a good place. Oh, the Trevor. Trevor? <laughs> the old Trevor. Look at that, mate. I have got the world's finest snapper. snapper. That's right. We got a dolphin here saying good day. Oh, I got picked up on the way down. Oh. Yeah, I'll get out of your way. You might have to just back up on him for me, bro. You reckon? Oh, I mean, I'm not even. I'm gonna end up spooled. I don't know what I've hooked here, but I got picked up on the way down, and it is huge. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a. T Bro, it might be a shark. I mean, it's, I can feel the odd tail beat, and it's massive, you know? It's quite early in the season for your boat to be reversing on a fish brownie. Dude, I can't even. <laughs> Whatever it is, it doesn't know it's hooked. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I know. Look at look at it. Here he goes, bro. Oh, it's a huge thrasher, bro. Is it a thrasher? Oh my <laughs> god. Bro, that thing's a beast. Be Man, that thing's a here. horse. It's massive, bro. <laughs> it's massive. Oh. Oh. Not a bad thing, Brownie. Not, Not a, a bad, bad thing. thing. Well, we didn't get on camera, but that was the biggest thrasher I've ever seen. Did a jump for us and gave me a hell of a workout and I got everything down to the leader back. Are there birds out to our right? There you go. Left. Whew. That's one way to get the blood pumping first thing. Gonna have to drop a layer. Might have to back my drag off a little bit. It's the first time I've used this new Daiwa Oceano Accela. And I was very impressed with it, even though that was well outside the wheelhouse of what that little rod was designed for. It stood up amazingly well. Brought a huge shark to the surface. Well, there we go. Ooh! Straight into it. Normal transmission resumes. Yeah, I've got a reasonable one on. Nice, mate. I've got that big paddle tail. It's oh, point two inch paddle sweet. tail on. One of those elevator rigs. Sometimes if you can get a bigger bait down there, you just get those next size up. Yeah, it's good, eh? This is a nice fish. Is it? Need oh. a net? Yeah. Oh, that's a beauty, mate. Yeah, we'll net him, boy. I had a fish on and then it popped off and I held it there and that thing. Nice. Smoke. Yeah, boy. Sweet. Sweet. The old big minnow. Well, you can do your gripping grins. I'll see if I can drop one down and catch one of my own. There we go. It's on the 6.2 inch baby bass minnow on a uh, on an elevator rig, two ounce, just to, to get it down. Um, pushing in 50 meters of water, but quite often if you put on a, a bigger bait with heaps of action, you Tend to get a nicer fish, so nice springtime Haraka Golf Snapper, no doubt nice. full of pillies. Oh, what the fuck is that huge over here? It's coming up like a poker, mate. <laughs> That'd be impressive. What do we got? What do we got? Snapper. It is a snapper, eh? Looks like it. Yeah, lovely, lovely snapper. Nothing wrong with it. Ooh. It's those second hooks, eh? 
they like hook in the side of them. It's a beauty. He's blowing up somewhat, so we'll take him home for supper. Bloody beauty. Finally, I've joined the, the snapper club. Snapper club. Dolphins cruising around. Man, I mean, if you're out here to harvest a meal, snapper in that size range are about perfect in my humble opinion. Not too big, not too little, bang on. I think the dolphins have got some bait right here. Amazing. Anyway, we'll get him in the bin. I love it. We'll be eating well tonight. Ooh. Scotty straight in. Oh mate, they're all around us. This is magic. How good is this? Private workup. Private workup. I love it how it suddenly speeds up like that. Ooh. Ooh. Another nice snapper. Another nice snapper, mate. He grabbed that net though. No, I'll grab him. I've got a 30 go. pound leader. Another nice fish on the big paddle tail. It's hard not to picture how your day is going to go down and then when you're a fisherman it's a dangerous game to play because you never know what to expect. But last night as I went to bed with my alarm set for 4.30 a.m. this is exactly what I had hoped for. Big snapper. Gannets diving, dolphins and whales. Glassy calm weather. Beautiful. And most Auckland does it work. Most Auckland does it work. <laughs> Here he comes, mate. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, nice fish. Mate. Oh, that's a bloody beauty. That's a great good. fish. Mate. But I mean, that's a cracker, dude. Look at that, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like normally, you would expect to see that sort of thing when you're stray lining bits of pilchard. But that there is a real life, old natural pilchard that met its demise thanks to this big fella. Here we have a stunning example of a Haraki golf snapper as Scotty instantly hooks up in the background. Yeah. Incredible fishing. It's incredible fishing. Oh, wow. Nice, all right. Well, we're gonna keep a couple for a feed without getting carried away. Actually, you know what? This guy's in pretty good nick. He's not blowing up. So, we'll let him go. All right, mate. Thanks for the fight. Let's see, if, let's see if he's got some bang in him. He might. Oh, there we go. No problem at all. And still, the gannets rain. Damn. It's good when the boats just aren't charging into them, eh? Well, there's only one boat, and everyone, when you're catching fish and it's chill, it's good. Look at that. Another bloody beauty. It's as simple as that. An 80 gram gold koga that I've just jazzed up with a mega six octopus skirt. And I'm dropping that onto the snapper sign. And most of the time, all I notice is my drop speeding up as a hungry snapper smokes her on the way down. that spring fishing you don't even need a workout. Mate it's uh, like I'm gonna sound like a broken down record but it's mind-blowing that a place that sees as much recreational and commercial pressure as the Haraki Golf just has such phenomenal fishing. 
Yeah, that's a real good workout. Good one? Yeah. Yeah, that second hook, eh? Hey, in that, the second hook makes them spin a little bit. Look at that. Stunning fish. Great condition at this time of year. Oh, man. It's not surprising given how much food they've got to eat. But it's his lucky day. See you, man. Are you on? Nah. <clears throat> Should we rip over there? It's still funneling in. The problem is that all the other boats have seen it too. Are they heading there now? Oh, there's one boat. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's other boats here, right? I mean, we'll catch fish if we drop here. Oh, looks like quite a good fish, mate. It's got a bit of weight to it. Bit of a hero rod. Yeah, which is always good. That's all right, bro. <coughs> UTD zero. Nice snapper. Nice, mate. Beauty. None of that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Mate, beauty. He's in pretty good nick. Nice, Sweet. mate. Nice. Oh, she's been action packed little morning. Dude. I, I don't think it'd be a silly thing to say that the fishing almost becomes secondary, eh? Oh. When man. it's like this, mate. Look at that. You can watch it all day long. Yeah. It is like real National Geographic stuff, yeah, bro. Eh? I'm, um, I'm gonna put them in coda down, bro. I'll snap it. The big old paddle tail again. No, it's just getting crushed on the way down. And like Brownie was saying before, you know, you get fish that are in good nick that you can let go, that one's kind of blowing up, so there's no point in throwing fish like that back. They're probably not going to survive, so he'll get well looked after at home. I've actually got a um, massive fish on here. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. I didn't want to say anything because Ryan's just getting the mad National Geo shots. Maybe we can get uh, Janet's with. Oh, mate. I'll pop this jig in there. Good fish? Yeah, mate. This is my biggest one of the day for sure. Oh. Oh. Heavy. Heavy. Let's try it out of the way. It's gotta be a king in there, eh? Mate, it's gotta be everything in there. Oh, snap, I reckon. On the big jig. Nice. Pretty overgun for a snapper there, mate, on the old Tiger 10,000. <laughs> Kinda keen to have a jig for a kingy, but. Yeah. So I see plenty of bait there. And this jig just hit the bottom. Holy. Can you spot lock that? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll just sit here quietly. Doing the thing. The silly thing is you want to um actually want to be downstream of them anyway. That's a nice fish bro. Look at that. <laughs> look at that for a double. Oh look at the gannets. Mate, mine's a tank. That's the fish of the day. Quite comfortable. 
That was one of those nice ones that we were keen on getting. Sorry if the sound of gannets hitting the water at a million miles an hour is distracting. Nice, let's put it. Get him in the net, mate. Get the net, Scotty! Hey, we're on. Yeah, boy! Oh. Mega six, mate. Mega six. That's a heavy fish, yeah, mate. It's a nugget. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Holy. It's a bit of sunlight. Look at that. I mean, that's an outstanding fish in anyone's book. Made all the much better by those lovely gannets behind us. Epic. Please come up nice and slow. He's not blown up. So I think we'll send him home. Let me hook that pressure on this set. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, Scotty. That's I happening. Know. You know what this is? I do. A snapper. Come on, mate. On the drop, eh? Hey? It's quite high up. Oh, it's a nice fish, though. Lovely fish, bro. <laughs> mate, stop it. In the old 400 gram kingy jib. Yeah. And even in the, the workups, you know, I mean, they're super aggressive, so they hit massive jigs. I was trying for a kingfish on the edge of the, the workup, but that guy's just smoked it on the drop, sort of halfway down, so they're really high in sort the water like column, too. That. Look at that. Back on. Another one for the, for the candidate. Oh, here they go, mate. This is epic workout fishing, eh? Hey. I mean, it has a mechanical jigging, but I think I've hooked it somewhere that's not quite the mouth. Here it comes. The colour. It's a sideways fish. snapper. It's a big sideways snapper. Mm. It's a beast. That, they, I mean, how thick do the snappers have to be down there? Can that you you're gashing them in the side like that. Is he going to go? Yeah. There he goes. Well, I tried a different flavour. New reel, new combo? New combo, mate. Alright. Tungsten. S-L-J. This is non-stop, mate. It's non-stop. Workout fishing. That's what it looks like. In all its glory. In all its glory. Unbelievable. Oh my god, <laughs> it's raining. Now here comes the bait again, I reckon. So they're rounding it up. Yeah. I can, oh I can see the school of bait. Hey, look, oh, at look. That, look at that there, that is it there. That's yeah, yeah. a bait ball, bro. There it is. Look at it. Whoa, I see the dolphins coming through it. Yeah. Oh, they're blowing bubbles to keep them up on the top. Yay! Oh! oh. oh. It's the whole ecosystem working together that you see all the dolphins come together and round up a big school of anchovies, push them to the surface, then these guys come barreling in, knock them all down again, they create a giant burly trail, which the snapper come and eat, and we sit here and enjoy the show. <laughs> oh boy. It is not a good day to be a pilchard. Well, 
Look, and look at the dolphins pulling, pushing the bait up again. Here come the gannets. Oh, there's the whale! Oh, where is he? He's between those two. Don't dress for it, Dad. Oh, look at it! Look at the whales right in the middle of it! Oh, Come no! Are oh. you ready? Double bang. The old... Double bang -wa. Well, that work-up action we had there, and many years of fishing, is... Easily the most amazing I've ever seen. The, the sheer number of gannets, the surface bait getting smashed, whales, dolphins, it was everything that makes work up fishing breathtaking every time. And the crazy thing is, it's like, as quick as it happened, it's over. Snapper are still there, gannets are still chilling, the dolphins are still chilling, but the frenzy for the minute has stopped. But these little fellas are still biting. But that was something else, man. Meanwhile, Scotty's in the corner, and what it looks like, a much better fish. Okay, Scotty, what you got, mate? What have you got? Hopefully a bigger schnip. <coughs> Nice, mate. I'm asking for one to rip a bit of string, and this fish is. Did he rip a bit? Yeah, he did actually. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Bit heavier. Here it comes. It's a good fish. It's a real good one. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a beauty, mate. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. That's sick. Yeah, it's a good one. Cracker. Good fish. That's net worthy, man. Yeah, we'll net him. Bloody beauty, man. That's what we asked for. It is, and we got it. There you go, bro. Thanks, nice. mate. The old Mega Six. Yeah, Doing man. The damage. That's a beauty, bro. That is a beauty. The old lure. Quite often find that the Mega Six in that workup situation it tends to get the bigger fish. Yeah, it does, eh? Whew. Happy with that. Hey, mate. Nice chunky fish. Yes, boy. A couple more of those and we'll be happy. Yeah. Should we get a video of them going? Get some tight shots. Here you go, I'll put them in the water. You ready? Yeah. Send them all. Oh, oh. The workups are kind of on the move. Fish have tails, bird have, birds have wings. And we're just using our radar to pick them up or our binoculars or just our naked eye. And the midday slump was short lived because there's a workup starting. So let's go chase it, boy. They don't call it chasing workups for nothing. Right, well we picked up some workup sign on our Garmin radar and we're pointed in the direction, wondering if we can see birds and up ahead of us we have seen a massive workup. So that is a perfect example of bird radar in action. So we'll go check it out. And well, here we are. Anyway, back in the thick of it. Back in the thick of it. As can often happen in the middle of the day, no matter how frantic the action is in the morning, it can tend to die off. And for the last hour or so, we've been chasing our tails somewhat, trying to find this. And thankfully we persevered because we have been treated to another one of nature's symphonies. And this is exactly the way I was hoping to finish the day. So we're gonna drop a couple cogas down, see if we can't finish this absolutely magical day on the Haraki Gulf with a bang. But yeah, I'm never gonna get sick of seeing that 
Unbelievable. Anyway, enough gas bagging. See if I can catch a fish. Scotty is. Yeah, it's stuck down there, eh? Nice. Nice, mate. Double hookup number 30 for the day. It's probably quite nice to have a break in the middle of the day. Yeah. There we go, another cracker. It's bloody relentless, mate. Look at that guy. He's got a pilchard <laughs> tail sticking out of his mouth. Come here. Oh, oh there, there it is. There it is. Look at that. Crazy, eh? It's like... It's not a good day to be a pilly. It's a bad day to be a pilly. Good day to be a snapper. Especially this one, because he's going to go back. Perfect pan-sized snapper. But luckily for him, we've got plenty for the pan. Nice mate, thanks for that. Alright, we'll blast up there real quick to see what we can get going on. Welcome to the last hurrah. All we wanted was to finish with a bit of a bang. We've got the birds, we've got the dolphins, we've got the sign on the sounder. Judging by my mate Scooter over there, we've got the snappers. We're going to wrap up a pretty bloody magical day in the Haraki Golf. The same way we've been enjoying it all day. In amongst the workup action of spring. A day, bro. Man, what a day. <clears throat> a day. Oh, stop. And just for something different, I'm going to catch a snapper. So I can't complain. I ain't complaining. <laughs> Man, they're just chocker with pillies, eh? Yeah. yeah. There's another one. Fish. Ooh. Ooh. I'll leave him with his dinner in there. Getting picked up on the way down. There we go. Oh, it's not as big this one. Oh, it's not bad though. It's not bad. And just like clockwork, another workup starts. In the great cycle of spring Harrogate Golf life continues. Another bloody great snapper. Nice snapper on the old kingy jig. It's amazing the size of the they'll take when they're fired up. Alright. Still tons of sign down there. It's getting thicker. <clears throat> on the drop. Trying to get to the bottom. Gannett's diving. Oh, yes. I feel like after a day like today, there's not much more we can show you guys. I'm just so happy that we came out to try and document how magical the Haraki Golf can be at this time of year and we're treated to it at its absolute finest. So, as the sun starts to dip and again it's rain from the sky, we're going to call it a day from the magical Haraki Golf. And I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the action as much as we did being a part of it. Hopefully, my final act of this epic adventure will be landing what feels like a bloody good snapper.
or sun. Yeah. There we go. Cracker man. Cracker, cracker fish. There you go, team. Just another absolute beauty of a Harriki Gold Snapper. So good. So bloody good. Mate. See you, mate. He's off. We're off. And that's it, man. That's a wrap from the Haraki Gulf. Doesn't get any better. I'm out of words, and that doesn't happen often. <laughs> no, it doesn't. All right. Thanks, team. Yeah. See you next time. Woo!